Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome to my new vlog. This is first ever time in Costco vlog arrived here. So yeah, this is first ever time. We are gonna check this out. How it's working, this Costco experience, I don't know. So actually guys, as long as you live in downtown, as long as you don't have any car, actually you don't need to visit the Costco because in, in most of cases, it's like, uh, it shouldn't be your convenience store. And this is exactly my case because I live in downtown and this is around me, this is some kind of renting car. This is commune, commune Auto, uh, car sharing uh, company. So yeah, that's, I just started using this uh, car sharing company and so yeah, now looks like um, it, it should be pretty good for me to check this out, how it's working with this Costco, but actually if you live in downtown and you don't have some extra space, some extra storage in your condo, and this is exactly my case because I live in one bed uh, apartment uh, and some, some small den, yeah, so actually I don't have some extra storage, but so yeah, actually uh, that's uh, what this vlog about. So yeah, I'm just gonna check this out if it's working for my family and let's see if it's working. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Thank you for watching this one. Give me a thumbs up if you like some kind of video from me about my experience here in, in Canada in whole settlement and just let me know. And yeah, hit this, uh, hit that subscribe button and I'm going to create a bunch more interesting videos. So yeah guys, stay tuned and thank you for watching this one. Okay guys, let me share my first impression of this experience. I'm a little shocked. There's so many people. Probably it's, it's Sunday noon and probably it's not the best time to visit the store and not the best time for Casca experience. So yeah, so far, so far not so good. <laughs> but actually yeah, it's a bunch of stuff in here. So yeah, let's explore. So far it's just horrible experience. It's just it's just just a hell, you know guys. So many people around here, just crazy experience. I don't like it like at all. All right, friends, this is just a horrible experience. I'm not used to see some kind of crowd in one place. It's so small, Costco. Can you see, it's no navigation in here around me. It's just, it's so, so extremely too hard to find something in here. And I just find some toys. It, I took, it took about maybe 10 minutes just to find this section. And there is no toys in here. Just take a, take a look. I strongly recommend to buy something like this, like blueberries. It's strongly protection against Parkinson.
Hey guys, just check this out, this cargo space. So this is $300 stuff and this like, and here like no space in here, no more. It's, can you see? And, and in here. So guys, we've got some lunch here. I'm extremely tired. Actually, I, I should say I'm exhausted after this experience. It was horrible experience. So yeah, I got some Putin here. A bunch of friends uh, told me uh, actually it's the best one in the Toronto you can find. Actually, it's inside of Costco. And now I'm gonna check this out. And this is some kind of pizza, French fries, of course, for my son. He tried to eat inside of the car. So yeah, it's we spent about I don't know about four hours in here in Costco. This first of the time. I will explain later why. Uh, I forgot to get some fork. But my wife, <laughs> I don't know why, but she every time carries her this <laughs> fork. Like, I don't know why. It's so funny. So yeah, guys. Okay, it's a bunch of stuff we got here. I have not no idea what actually we're gonna do with this stuff. <laughs> Looks like we don't have any storage for this. So this is Life of Spark and Beach around me. You know, I love this place. Some kind of cool combination is this Ontario lake and these mountains, this cliff. It's pretty cool. And yeah, today is pretty busy. So many, so many people are here. So yeah, just uh, let me say about this experience with Casca. As I said, it was horrible, <laughs> horrible experience, guys. It should not be like this way, just uh, like at all, guys. It's uh, it's too small, too many people. Uh, I saw extremely huge line after uh, this Costco. It was about, I believe, uh, 3 p.m. So yeah, uh, I spent about uh, three hours this time in Costco. I was playing in a couple of minutes why I, why I spent so many times in here. And yeah, just in, in, in 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. it's still it, it was a huge line to go uh, inside to Casca. So yeah, guys, it's just it should not be like, like this way. I didn't expect this from Toronto, from Scarborough. I don't know, but why? It's so many people on Sunday. So at least, guys, I should mention probably it's not a good idea to visit Casca in your weekend. Probably it's a bad idea do it like in some kind of weekdays and yeah it should be much better for you guys and i will try it again and maybe i don't know some in some of weekdays and maybe evening time should be should work better for me so yeah but there were so many beautiful birds here i believe well, probably you will you will not see this bird it's pretty small so nice so yeah this nature just inspire me around here in Ontario, the Scarborough place. But yeah, about this Casca experience, yeah. I didn't know, guys, I have to use only like MasterCard and not Visa. Visa not working for me. If you were gonna use your Visa card, you should use your debit card. I didn't have my debit card with me, only like interact card in, in my wallet, in my Apple Pay wallet. But it wasn't work for me because I can't pay by using wallet, I don't know why. So today I ended up just uh, after this cash line, I, I didn't buy anything like, and I didn't know that. So uh, some, some beautiful lady told me like, I can, I can get some CIBC MasterCard. Uh, and it's working for me, it worked for me well. Uh, what I did, I just uh, went to this line, info box, where I just find this guy with CIBC card, and I've got my CIBC MasterCard. So guys, so that's how I got my credit line and i was able to use this my new credit card exactly this day and exactly at the same time i got some temporary card it's like some kind of paper yes in a couple of weeks i should get my physical credit card by uh, mailbox i believe uh, to my to my home address my residency address this credit card worked for me well and that's how i got my all the stuff today so yeah the price was about 300 
And yeah, we find some place in our condo, in our one bedroom apartment, we find some storage for, for all the stuff. So far, it looks like it's working for me, but I'm gonna ex explore another casca for sure. I don't know if it's every time I will see the same problem. I believe in weekdays, it should be much better for me, guys. So yeah, it's my experience. And yeah, another question about this navigation. If you didn't know, guys, I had been working in some kind of similar store in Ukraine, in Kyiv. Just after I arrived from my small city where I was born, I, I moved to Kyiv. This is uh, the hugest city, the biggest city in Ukraine. And in, 2019, in 2010, I moved from my home city. I moved from Berdyansk, this small city on the shore of Azov Sea. I moved to, to Kyiv and I got some survival job in Kyiv. Yeah, it wasn't easy for me. I, <laughs> I didn't every time a web developer before I was working as a sales, sales manager and this some pretty the similar store and I had been working for three years in this stuff. So I know extremely well how it should work well, how it's working and how it should work, you know, guys, and it should not be like here in Casca. This is, I, 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 I can tell you like a professional, you know, guys. And about this navigation inside, I believe I didn't get why, why I didn't see some navigation inside just to, to find some type of goods, you know, if I'm gonna find some, I don't know, some bakery, I don't know. It's much easier if you have some, in case you have some navigation, but I didn't have this. And I'm sure it's not a mistake. I'm sure it's, uh, it's done to get you lost in this store just to get you lost you will be walking around you will be trying to find what exactly you want to actually to buy today and you will you will buy much more and this is marketing and i don't like this way of marketing guys it should not be this way so yeah it's yeah but still what i should say about this uh Costco, it's still it's a good price and i understand why so many people's love this place why so many people trying to buy something in Casca because actually yeah the price was good and for 300 dollars we've got a bunch of stuff and looks like price price is much lower for us than in no frills than in fresco where where we used to buy our groceries our uh making our shopping here yeah, guys so yeah this is my experience I don't know if it's interesting for you, but yeah, if, if you also new to Canada as me, so it should be probably interesting for you. So first of all, only MasterCard. You should get MasterCard to be able to pay for something in Casca because Visa card working only in USA. In Canada, only MasterCard or Visa, but it should be debit card and physical debit card. It would be better for you. So guys, today we got some binoculars for my son. And now he's trying to handle the stuff. It's completely new for him. And actually the price is from Costco. The price was $100 before. And we got uh, this one, uh, I believe about $30. And yeah, now my son going to explore all this, this beautiful world. And I've got my sandwich. So I'm doing two things in one in once, like teaching my son how to handle this binocular and i'm going to eat this sandwich from my beautiful wife <laughs> so yeah friends check this out the sky it looks like it's going to be rain and so yeah let's get out of here i guess as we wait for the smoke to clear and we watch our dreams appear i know that we can rise together this vision that we share is ours together we can touch the stars Right, friends, this is absolutely another day, and we're, we're again in Costco. And here in Casca today is completely new experience for us. It's completely different situation. Like this one is awesome. This is Monday evening, and like you can see, it's almost empty. I got a bunch of space on parking parking space, and yeah, today is completely different experience. And now I can I change my mind. I should say actually, it's it's awesome. <laughs> So yeah, just this previous one was so horrible, but this one's just fabulous. Yeah, guys. So yeah, guys, not every Costco is the same. This one completely different. It's much bigger, much more space here, much more, I don't know, much more oxygen, if you can say. So yeah, this one is good. If some, some kind of Costco not good, 
near you, just try to find another one. And maybe it may be like a completely new experience for you. Then you say hello. Hello? Hello, hello. We got some kind of new robot here, yeah? Some kind of new gift. So yeah, friends, today it's Casca, it's another Casca. I'm not sure if you can recognize what exactly this one. I will try probably to left some location that this video or I will put inside of this video, integrate, yeah? It's also some kind of car sharing experience, it's Hyundai Accent. And yeah, today and yesterday I will, I've got some horrible experience with car sharing. Today I've got some car before this one with like a result after nausea from previous uh, client. It was horrible, just guys. It's, coming after I don't know why it's happening and yesterday I've got some another car and it was like after dog hair everywhere like completely all this car inside was with dog hair guys it's just horrible so sometimes it's not pretty nice experience with renting car here in Toronto I don't know why but yes it depends probably not uh, from company yeah, but some kind of clients yes every people like difference so that's why it's happening so yeah, friends, and today we, uh, it's amazing news for us, we find family doctor. If you didn't know, in Canada it's extremely hard to find a family doctor. It's just, you can you can be like a couple of years without family doctor. So it's extremely good news, we're so happy, we're so excited about this. And we've got a couple of shows today in every shoulder. I don't actually remember what exactly <laughs> against what, but I'll probably put some information in the video. So yeah, guys, Costco experience, actually it's awesome. Another one experience, another one awesome experience. All right, friends, I'm gonna finish out this vlog here. Thank you for watching this one, for being with me. And yeah, I almost forgot to actually to say about this poutine in Casca. It's first every time I tried poutine and a bunch of my friends were talking about it's some, some kind of the best one in the city. So yeah, I actually, I can almost agree. It's actually one of the best what I've tried so far here in Toronto, but not the best one. So far, my favorite is uh, some kind of poutine, which you can find on Nathan Phillips Square. Uh, this is some kind of truck, some some white truck, and uh, in front of this truck you will see some some kind of uh, say it's it should be saying for you like 30, 30 years of experience, something like this. So yeah, you will see this truck. So I believe uh, I believe uh, it's about thirty experience to making poutine, I don't know. So yeah guys, I believe you can find this one on Nathan Phillips Square. It's, it's priced about, for middle size, about seven or eight dollars. So it's pretty it's pretty affordable. It's uh, in front of Toronto side, you will see this white truck. And guys, just try, believe me, try this poutine on this place. So far, this is my favorite. So yeah guys, it's going to be raining uh, and yeah. But we still, we've got so amazing weekend, this Casca, this is Buffer Sparkling Beach, and hey guys, thank you for watching, stay tuned guys, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I'm, I'm going to catch you in the next one, bye guys, peace out. Alright, some bonus part for those of you folks who are still watching this video, this is distillery district around me, and this is not a winter, no Christmas tree here, and I just want to mention, can you see this two... Uh, beautiful buildings behind me, two high buildings, yes. So this actually some kind of place where you can rent out some apartments and my one of uh, some of my friends actually exactly doing this. On this you can even imagine what kind of stunning view you can get if you're gonna live the, here. You will see whole the city with CN Tower is incredibly beautiful view guys just believe me. And price actually yeah, I believe it's about 270, 2700, I believe, for one bedroom. Yes, yeah, or at least 25 you should pay. It's not not pretty much affordable, but yeah, this view worth it. Just believe me, guys.
So yeah, friends, uh, this is my advice for you. If you're looking for some incredibly beautiful place to live, this one is good. But please take into account that it here in winter time, uh, like this year, like winter winter village, etc. So in this case, you will have a bunch of uh, cars, people here, crowd. It's pretty loud, and that's not okay. So you will get this like two months every winter. What is this like? I didn't see something similar before. Can you see what is kind of clouds? I hope it's not going to be a hurricane here and I'm going to be alive. Okay, guys, what is hack is going on here? It's like some kind of. Can you see it's so dark in here? Can you see? It's like cloud with some. I don't know. It's. Even I, I, I wasn't able to see even. That's why I'm wearing these glasses now because I wasn't able to see. It was like hurricane. I don't know what is kind. Of, I have never seen something before, something similar before. <coughs> yeah, even I've got some adrenaline on my blood. <laughs> so yeah, guys, check this out. Can you see this? You, you can clearly see it. Not okay, guys. It shouldn't be like this. I believe. So yeah, probably it's a good idea. It's a good idea to find some safe place, guys.